program, clarifying employment status, calculating holiday pay, terminating employment and some hot tips for the summer. In this edition of Ad HR Vision, we will show you how to avoid some basic pitfalls on employment status. Thinking about resourcing through contractors or suppliers, then it's important to have clarity about the working relationship from the outset. Often this gets muddled and can cause problems at a later stage. We recommend you put in place an agreement which covers the specifics of the working relationship, including invoicing, payment terms and how the agreement may terminate. This can save a lot of trouble later on. On to the subject of holiday pay. Guaranteed and non-guaranteed overtime and commission payments must now be factored into the calculations for holiday pay. However, voluntary overtime is still excluded at the moment. We recommend that you review your terms and conditions on this aspect to avoid any backdated claims in holiday pay shortfalls. There's a great fact sheet on this on our website. On to employees leaving the company. Make sure you have the right processes and documentation in place to avoid any potential tribunal claims. Cover all the salient points like accrued or excess holiday, actual termination date, the reason, return of property and any post-employment restrictions. Always have an audit trail. So, summer's here and it's a great time to boost employee engagement. Think about dress down days in hot weather. Encourage lunchtime walking groups to get out in that sunshine. And the odd ice cream always goes down well. If you want any further information on any of the points covered in this edition, then please contact us. So enjoy the summer and see you next time. Mm -hmm.